In this episode, we'll consider operations with complex numbers. And we'll start with addition. So suppose we have two complex numbers, z1 and z2, and we want to add them. So we'll go z1 plus z2, and now we'll treat these two numbers as two algebraic expressions. So we'll have 5 plus 3i, which is our z1, plus 2 minus 4i, which is our z2. And now we'll group real and imaginary numbers to have 5 plus 2 plus 3i minus 4i, which equals 7 minus i. Subtraction is performed likewise. So if we want to subtract z2 from z1, we'll again treat these two numbers as two algebraic expressions. So we'll have 5 plus 3i minus 2 minus 4i, which equals 5 plus 3i minus 2 plus 4i, and that obviously is equal to 3 plus 7i. As you could have noticed, numbers of different nature, real and imaginary, are added and subtracted separately. So real numbers go with real numbers and imaginary numbers go with imaginary numbers. And we cannot dazzle real and imaginary numbers to obtain a single value of either kind. Just as we cannot dazzle two, uh, money of two different currencies without conversing. Now let's move on to multiplication. This time we want to multiply z1 and z2. But again, we'll treat them as two algebraic expressions. So we'll have 5 plus 3i multiplied by 2 minus 4i. Expanding these brackets will obtain the following. 5 times 2 minus 5 times 4i plus 3i times 2 minus 3i times 4i. That is equal to 10 minus 20i plus 6i minus 12i squared. But we remember that i squared is actually equal to negative 1. Now we can substitute the negative 1 into our expression and obtain the following. 10 minus 14i minus 12 times negative 1, which equals 10 minus 14i plus 12, which is equal to 22 minus 14i. As I previously told, and as you possibly may remember, when we multiply a real number and an imaginary number, like we did here and here, the result is still an imaginary number. But then, if we multiply two imaginary numbers, we obtain a real result. Unlike the operations we have already discussed, addition, subtraction, and multiplication, division is not performed that obviously. So we should probably say a few words about complex conjugates first. given in general form, z equals x plus i, y. Its complex conjugate is denoted as z with a dash and is equal to x minus i, y. So the sign in front and imaginary part is different. The important property of complex conjugates is that their product is a real number. Now let's check that. So we'll multiply our z and z dash We'll have x plus i y multiplied by x minus i y. 
which is equal to x squared minus ixy plus ixy minus i squared y squared. These two cancel out. i squared equals negative 1. So this brings us to x squared minus negative 1 times y squared, which obviously equals x squared plus y squared. So we have shown that product of two complex conjugates is indeed a real number. And that's an important piece of information and I should probably have it written down separately somewhere. Okay, so we have z equal to x plus i y z dash equals x minus i y and then their product z times z dash equals x squared plus y squared and now we're getting to discussing division so same old two complex numbers, z1 and z2. We want to divide z1 by z2. So we have this expression in the form of a fraction. Its numerator will be equal to z1, 5 plus 3i, and its denominator equals z2, 2 minus 4i. But that is not yet the answer, since we cannot tell where is its real part and where is its imaginary part. And in order to be able to do so, we should somehow obtain a real number in denominator. And that's where complex conjugates come in handy. The trick here is that we want to multiply the fractions top and the bottom by the bottom's complex conjugate. This way we'll have a product of two complex conjugates in denominator. And the product of two complex conjugates is a real number. Exactly, exactly what we need. So let's do that. Now we still have 5 plus 3i in the top and 2 minus 4i in the bottom. And now we'll multiply the top and the bottom by the bottom's complex conjugate. And that being 2 plus 4i. plus 20i plus 6i plus 12i squared over 4 plus 16 which equals 10 plus 26i minus 12 since i squared equals negative 1 over 20 negative 2 plus 26i over 20 and that is equal to negative 1 tenth plus 13 tenth i and this is our result with obvious real and dimensionary parts now let's consider another example and this time our numbers being divided will be complex conjugates let's see is there anything special about this case So, suppose z1 remains the same, 5 plus 3i, but z2 will be equal to its complex conjugate, 5 minus 3i. So we form our fraction, z1 over z2 equals 5 plus 3i over 5 minus 3i. Then we multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by the bottom's complex conjugate, which is basically an expression we have in the top. That gives us 5 plus 3i squared over 5 minus 3i times 5 plus 3i, which equals 25 plus 30i plus 9i squared over 25 
plus 9, which equals 25 minus 9 plus 30i over 34, which equals 16 plus 30i over 34. And that gives us the answer, which is 8 over 17 plus 15 over 79. So as you can see, nothing special is about this case. And that's basically about it for now. Our next video will be dedicated to geometrical representation of complex numbers. Wait for it.